Okay, so what we're going to use today is um, the Creative Palette Mono Printing Plate from Stampendous. Okay, so today I'm going to use um, just Americana Craft acrylic paint um, in coral blush. Oops, excuse me, in coral blush. I'm just going to drizzle some onto my plate. I'm also going to use a glossy white acrylic paint from it looks like Apple Barrel. I'm going to drizzle some there. I tend to use too much paint, but that's okay. And I also like to spray mine with alcohol. I think it's easier to work with and it keeps it moving. And now what I'm going to do is take a crumpled up piece of plastic wrap. You can use plastic wrap. I think this is off of cellophane, off of something. And I'm just going to tap it into my paint. There, I have a nice pattern there. Give it another spray of alcohol. And today I'm going to use this canvas. And I'm just going to push my canvas right on top. And of course my canvas is bigger than my plate, so we're going to have to play around with it and get some stuff onto the sides. So how we do that is we just put our side down and press into the paint again. And then just continue that around until you get your sides nice and printed. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit more of the white. And I'm actually going to... Um, just press my canvas down in different spots over that white. We might have to add more white paint. We're just going to lighten up our background a little bit. And there we have our canvas mono printed background and we're going to let that dry and come back and add our petals. Okay, so my canvas is all dry and what I've done is I've cut these nice little flower petal shapes out uh, with my Dolores, which is my silhouette. I call her Dolores. Um, and you can see it, I've used the Teresa Collins You Are My Happy paper and it's shooting arrows. It's item number YMH107. And I'm just going to arrange my little flower petals on here the way I want them and then we are going to use Xyron adhesive to stick it all down with. And you've just kind of got to play with it a little bit um, until you get it the way you want it and the way you want it to look. Okay. Now you can see that I've laid out how I want my pattern to be on my canvas. And what I'm going to use is the Xyron 1 inch sticker maker and I'm just going to slowly feed all of my little um, leaves in and pull them out and put them back down where they are supposed to go. So we'll start with this one right here. And you see I'm just sliding it right in here and pulling it through and you could really do a bunch of them all in a row and then lay them down but I'm just going to do a couple so that you can see how I'm doing this and then I'll get them all on there for you and come back. You just peel off the, the cellophane and it just makes this into a perfect little sticker. We're just going to stick it down on our canvas and then move on to the next one. This little one inch sticker maker from Xyron is just the perfect tool for this type of project. Mixed media canvas, you can't beat it. Okay. 
as you can see the sticky little cellophane it picks up the sticky around where your item is and it makes it so that um, you don't have sticky everywhere your adhesive all over the place okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Teresa Collins this is her um, basic essential line and this is the damask stencil so we're just going to take it out of the package here and it's a big 12 by 12 stencil it's really nice um, I like that it's kind of a pink color not because of the color but just because it's it's easier to see when using the um, either the embossing paste or like I'm going to use a whipped spackle on this here um, so here we have it. Here is the stencil. I think you can probably maybe see it a little bit in the light. You'll be able to see it better once I start. So I am just going to lay it onto our canvas here. And I am going to use a whipped spackle and my finger. And I'm not going to, to fill the whole entire thing. I'm just going to hit here and there. And I'm going to go actually right over top of our... Um, little pieces of the designer paper that we stuck down with our one inch by Xyron. This is fun because I just use my finger. Pull this up just a tad. There we go. And I'm just going to take it and run my finger through it. This will give some good dimension. All of my spackles and embossing pastes um, I keep in a Ziploc bag because it helps to keep them lasting a little bit longer. All right, and there's that layer. We're going to do another layer as soon as this dries. Okay, so I have my next um, layer started and I just cut out little strips of paper and we're going to turn these into flowers on top of here. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to run the strips through a Xyron 3 inch sticker maker. Same concept as the 1 inch. And what we're going to do is just line up our strips of paper right in here. So we're just going to pull them through. I'm going to get almost all the way through. Sorry, excuse the dog shaking in the middle of the video. I'm going to go ahead and line up our next set right in here so that we don't waste any of the adhesive. So there's no gap in between. These are actually going to be the petals for our flowers. So we just rip it off and we've got all of our little strips on here. We're going to rub it down. And stick them down. got a nice sea breeze color again this is just the Americana craft paint acrylic and we are going to just make a nice little dome here for our flower
down here and do another little dome here. You just paint right over the paper. Doesn't matter. There we go, the little sunflowers, and we're going to have to come in and add um, some little stems and leaves. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone in with my Sharpie pen and I've started to add some accents to these little flowers. And I will zoom in here so that you can see it a little bit better. And I'll add a few more dots around these. And now what we're going to do is go in and stamp. And I'm going to use stays on. Now this is pretty rough. So I don't think that my stamp that I'm using um, from Crafter's Companion is going to stand out that well. But it's pretty thick. The, the lettering is pretty thick on here. So I think I'm going to get a good, fairly good stamp on it. There we go. And it says, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you twice. And it came out, came out really good. Okay, here's our finished canvas. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Jen, and I'm with Jack's Beanstalks. I hope you'll take time to pop on over to my blog and see all of the wonderful projects that I have over there. Have a great day.